I'm Mike Dunn. I'm uh, lead tabletop editor of Gaming Trend, and I'm here with John Schaefer Hello. Uh, of WizKids, and he's going to tell us a little bit about Onslaught. Yeah, yeah, All most right. definitely. I'd be glad to. So uh, Onslaught is a tactical miniatures game in which it involves uh, two different factions fighting against one another, but there's also the added element of extra monsters that are also, so it's kind of player versus player versus environment kind of game. So there's a number of different scenarios that are set up. Uh, they all kind of have a bit of cause and effect from one to the next. And uh, they're, they vary greatly in size and scale. You have things all the way from a black dragon all the way down to a kobold that might be getting in, interfering with your plans. Um, most of the combat is realized through combat dial cards like this one, in which you have a number of uh, cooldown abilities down here on the bottom. You've got your stats up here, which are like your speed and your defense and uh, your hit points. And then you also have an experience point gauge over here on the side. So oh, nice. if you satisfy certain criteria, you can level up in the middle of the game and actually draw a new um, an upgrade card. Excuse me, let me grab one of these. Similar to this one. So uh, for example, like this will grant additional abilities for the rest of the game. So what, it, what I really like about the game is it takes a lot of the elements of Dungeons and Dragons and that a lot of the tactical combat and it distills it down into a very easy to set up uh, very easy to execute kind of game. It's uh, yeah, a lot of fun and uh, very streamlined in that, in that regard. Now this isn't your your typical kind of board game experience. You're actually using the miniatures from your WizKids line uh, yeah, it's, as it's part of this. So uh, the game is broken into factions. So when you sit down to play a game of Onslaught, you choose one of four factions. So we're going to have four at launch. Uh, there are the Harpers, the Zentarum, the Many Arrows, and the Red Wizards of Fae. And you choose one of those factions, and then we have a, kind of an ongoing product plan in which we release additional characters for the game. And when you sit down to play a game, you see what the scenario is, you see what uh, your opposing faction is, and then you select the proper party members to uh, give you the best chance of success. Now, based on the factions that you just mentioned, it yeah. sounds like uh, you're dealing primarily with the Forgotten Realms Correct. setting. Correct, yeah. Okay, awesome. Uh, are there plans to do other settings in the D&D universe? Yeah, I think we definitely like to, but there's so much to go into with the Forgotten Realms. There's so much content there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the other element of this game that is really exciting for us is it, it gives us an outlet for all of the other miniatures that we already make. Right. Nolzers, Icons of the Realms, like all these other, other lines of miniatures that we have. We're, uh, we're looking forward to releasing additional card packs, uh, rules online, that will kind of unlock a lot of those additional miniatures for the game as well. Nice. Now, th does this come with the miniatures that you use, or do you buy them separately? It comes with it, yeah. Okay. So, so the core set comes with quite a few miniatures. You get um, 12 uh, characters, so you get six per faction. You get six Harper, six Antarum, a, a black dragon, big massive black dragon, two gnolls, an Etten, a troll, a bunch of kobolds. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll just continue to release more and more with uh, map packs and monster packs, additional discard products that will just unlock additional stuff if you wanted to paint your own. And we also uh, really like the idea of, you know, there's a lot of investment in painting your own miniatures as well. So we wanted to allow players, if they wanted to, to paint their own miniatures and sub them in for the existing characters that are in the game. That so, was going to be my so, next question. So if question. you're like really yeah. into like, oh, I want to do like a, an Underdark themed uh, war party. And I want to have like drow and bugbears in there and like all sorts of other things. You can select other miniatures. Uh, and we have kind of a curated list for organized play. And then if you're just playing with your friends, you can kind of use whatever you want. Now, does this come with preset scenarios in the core set? Yeah, there's a scenario guide that comes with the game that has uh, seven scenarios in it. And then we have competitive scenarios. Uh, we have lots of plans to release additional content online. So at launch, we'll have some additional stuff available for people. And then we have just lots of plans just to create different gaming experiences. Excellent. The map itself comes with two different sides, and there's a number of punch board elements that you can layer over top of it to diversify the game layout. And then we're also looking at other products, you know, potentially Warlock, other things like that. So we have so many cool things that we could potentially fold into the game. We're, we're pretty excited about the potential. Nice. Now, are you going to provide any tools for players to create their own scenarios? Yeah, we have talked about that as well. I think that's, uh, you know, first we want to just establish, like, the baseline for the game. Right, right. And then we really want to see what the community can do with it, too. And I think there's going to be a lot of uh, opportunities for uh, players to kind of create their own characters, potentially, to create their own scenarios and share those with other people. And we're going to try to figure out the best way to facilitate that. Awesome. So when can gamers get, get their hands on this? January 2023. January 2023. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, we're going to be having a and, uh, and how much is, it, is that course set going to be when it it's comes out? It's $139.99. Okay. 
and then there are faction packs that come out as well that are fifty nine ninety nine. Excellent. And those can, uh, contain six characters, all the combat dial cards and stuff that you need, the level up cards, two faction dice that are uh, specific to those factions as well. Yeah, a, a good amount of content for sure. Excellent, excellent. Well, awesome. Can't wait to can't wait to get my hands on it, John. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. Thanks Make sure a lot. Stop on by, get a demo. Excellent, excellent. Thank you. No problem. Glad to help.